Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a little bit of an issue that we're having with Payday 2 and a fix for it. So recently, I've upgraded to a 1440p and a 160Hz monitor. I'll leave the link in the description below which monitor it is. Um, and I've just got back into playing Payday 2. I've started up, I know this is a bit overdue due to the date of the game and how long it's been out. But this, this is kind of an annoying thing that was in the game for me. And um, I'm going to show you how to fix it. So... On the desktop here, we're going to want to um, go to your files. Um, once in your files, you're going to want to go to your local disk, your users, and then your main user. As you can see here, there is no app data. So you want to go to up here, click over it so it doesn't act with anything. Slash, that's backslash, it's the one below your backspace key. And you go app data, just like that. Enter and it will come up with these three different folders. We're gonna to go to local, then go down and until you can find payday 2. Once you found that, the says render settings. We're gonna to go to render settings and normally it'll open up this, which it shows you with this VSync refresh rate 60. That's what we want. We want to change this. Um, but as you can see, it's in a Windows thing, so we're gonna to have to open it with Notepad. Plus plus. Um, other things you can open it with um, Notepad. I don't know if it works, haven't used it, but uh, I think you can see here, yeah, it comes up down here somewhere, this little first part here, refresh rate 60, but it's an easy way to do it, you want to get edit with Notepad++, and I'll give you a link in the description below of where to get Notepad++, and as you can see here, if you scroll all the way up to the bottom, from the top, which is just heaps of different resolutions that the game can have, um, let's go all the way to the bottom, and as you can see, there's render config. And this is your in-game settings. If you change any of this, it won't matter. Because I've already tried that. But you want to change here to whatever your refresh rate is. And of course, your V-Sync, if you turn it on, it'll be whatever the refresh rate is. So don't worry about that. Just put it at zero because once you turn V-Sync on, it'll already just sync to that number. You want to go to file, save. Once we go out of it, you can close all this. You go to payday 2. And you'll be able to see the difference in how it won't lag so we're going to want to go to the safe house and I haven't played Pedro in a while so I don't really know what it normally is like but I used to play in the 60Hz monitor and that was a lot different to 100, 160 due to this being an overclocked one from 144 so it's been pretty good but Obviously, there's a lot of issues with the fresh rates and frames and stuff. So there's a lot of different fixes that are available, but this one, this one's the easiest and the main one. So I recommend using this simple one because once you get in game, there's a lot less screen tearing. I noticed when I've been playing with it, there's still a minimal amount of screen tearing. Like when I go across, there's obviously going to be some level more because Payday 2 just doesn't have the best graphics. Like what is it, you know? response to the mouse so yeah let's just get into it spike you know how you move your mouse and it doesn't really connect to the game as much as you can even though i'm using a very i'm using a two millisecond um ping uh two millisecond latency with my mouse to my monitor but obviously it's still gonna have some delay from the game software so i may be releasing a patch early from that to fix it but this is just for the refresh rate so as you can see it's, it's very smooth and if I put my mouse on you can obviously see the difference it's not as laggy so yeah so thank you guys for watching and uh, I hope you enjoyed and you had some help out of this so just remember in the description below there is, what is it, um, there's the link for the monitor and uh, Notepad++. So if you want to get the software for this and see what monitor I'm using, um, it's a good monitor I reckon, it has a good solution. And also, below there, I have my G2A Goldmine slash reference link. And if you guys use that link, you will get some discount, I don't think it's a discount, you will just be able to buy cheap games off g away online. And this is a good place to buy Payday 2, you can buy it for about $5.
that's very cheap compared to what you can buy on here for about 20 but obviously it is very cheap and I recommend buying it off there so I bought my game and most of the DLC so thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed hope this fixed if there's any issues please leave it in the comments below and I will try and respond to you guys okay thanks for watching and see you later